Hey, what's going on guys? This is a quick video of the anchor that I bought for my kayak. This is a grapnel style anchor. It's a three pound, 25 feet of line uh, anchor system. And I'll show you guys what it looks like. I'm gonna retie it also so that I can use it on the kayak. All right, here's the anchor out of the box. It comes with a clip here uh, where you can clip it on and off. It also comes with a float. 25 feet of line and then here is the actual anchor. It's about 3.3 pounds Right now it's in the locked position storage position um, So that the grapnel hooks stay locked in if you want to release it All you have to do is just turn this little lock here open it up and the hooks will deploy out of the box the manufacturer ties a knot on this end of the anchor I don't know why they do that, because most people end up tying the knot over on this end anyway. So I don't know why the manufacturer just doesn't go ahead and change it and tie the knot here on this side. And there's a reason why people tie the knot on this end first instead of here. Because if you tie the knot here, when you toss the anchor over, let's say you get to a spot, you throw your anchor out, and now you're fishing and all of a sudden now you get stuck. Now you're stuck in, let's say this is... Uh, a piece of wood or a piece of rock now your hook comes and it's stuck under this piece of wood here and if you're tied up on this end here you're gonna keep tugging and tugging and tugging on this side and you won't be able to release your anchor even if you go back the way you came and you start pulling it this way pull back this way the hook is still gonna be stuck under this log here so Having it tied here, you're gonna be losing a bunch of anchors. So if it's tied over on this end here, I'll, I'll show you guys what it looks like later, but if you tie it here and you end up getting stuck like this, your line's gonna be here on this side. And if you go back and you pull it back this way, you're gonna be able to pull your anchor back out from underneath the rock or the log jam or whatever's underneath there in the water. So what I did was I cut the rope off of this end here and I tied it to this end on this side here where the hooks deploy out. And this is just a simple knot just for demonstration purposes. I'll go back and tie it more securely, but your anchor line, you're gonna fold it back, back up this way. And now you're gonna zip tie this portion of the line back onto to this end of the anchor. This is actually uh, too big of a zip tie. You won't be able to break the zip tie if you ever get stuck. I just didn't have a smaller zip tie, but what you wanna buy is you wanna buy a, a smaller uh, zip tie. But the idea is now you're gonna zip tie this line to the ring here. And you want to make sure that your line falls into this groove here so that it doesn't get in the way of the hooks when you're deploying it. So, so now you'll snip off the tag end here. Just snip that off. And remember, you're going to have a smaller zip tie here. So the idea now is your anchor still, when you toss it over, it's still going to be in the upright position. You can still deploy your anchor, open it up. Your hooks are going to deploy and you can still use it normally. You're gonna still be able to pull your anchor out and it's gonna come up the way it's supposed to come up. So for demonstration purposes, let's say my boot is a log or a rock and your anchor comes along and now these hooks are stuck underneath that jam. You're gonna be tugging on it and your anchor's not gonna be going anywhere. You can tug back this way and you're still not going anywhere. If you have it tied the way it's supposed to be tied, you have your zip tie right here. If you go back and you pull hard enough, the zip tie here is supposed to snap. If you have a small enough zip tie, it'll snap. So you just give it, you're tugging on it, you're tugging on it, and now the zip tie just snapped. And as you can see, it lodged, dislodged the anchor from underneath the jam. And now your line is loose and you can pull your anchor back out from underneath the jam like that. And that is why this is the proper way to tie 
a kayak anchor 